Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. Okay, today is the first day of Vlogmas. I am going to be doing Vlogmas um, this month all about fashion, okay? Uh, I did a video yesterday talking about the importance of professional dress, okay? And, and <laughs> I didn't know anything about Vlogmas until today, okay? Uh, when a viewer brought it up and I said, well, yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to make this whole month about is professional dress and just some of the staples that you should have and we're going to be talking about like evening wear and what you should be wearing underneath <laughs> because that all goes into it okay and i think it's important to talk about all that stuff now i will say this before i go on for anything else okay if you haven't been measured and you know what i mean ladies if you haven't been measured in a while make sure you get measured okay because Nothing is going to look right on you if the stuff underneath does not fit well, okay? You have to have all of your undergarments fit well, all right? And even if it's been a while since you've been measured, if you you say, oh, yes, I know my size, it never hurts to get measured again, okay? Because, I mean, it it happens. We, we go up in weight or we go down in weight. I mean, it just depends. So always make sure you start out with a good base, okay? And we'll be talking about that on another video, <laughs> okay? Today, I just want to talk about some of the uh, staples that you should have. Oh, and something else. Um, a lot of times, like when you're starting in a professional work environment, okay, some people may be a little hesitant to spend money on themselves because, you know, maybe they have families and they have kids and things like that. Yes, this is always a concern and you should always take care of your kids first, your family first, and everything else. But... Um, there are ways to get clothes cheaper, okay? Of course, coupons, sales, things like that. I go to, um, mostly I go to Bell's, Macy's, and Ross, okay? Only because with Bell's, I always get sales all the time. Macy's is the same way. And um, Ross is just very cheap clothes for like, you know, um, cheap is in good price clothes, okay? Uh, but still a good quality clothes. So always keep that in mind. And not only that, um, when you are, when you are treating yourself well, you're setting a good example, okay, that it is okay to treat yourself well. It is okay to look good, okay, um, because it is very important. In order to be taken seriously in the workplace, you do have to dress the part, okay? So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, these are just some of these, the standard pieces that I think that you should have, um, of course, always go with what fits your figure best, okay? But um, talking about, like, first up, we're going to talk about slacks, okay? Slacks are very important, and these are the standard pieces, okay? I always have at least one black pair of slacks and one uh, gray pair. Now, I have another gray pair, but they're at the cleaners right now. Um, these still have a tag on them, only because they haven't been tailored yet. Now, I am very short. I am just under five feet, okay? <laughs> I'm four foot 11, all right? Uh, but I am just under five feet, so I always have to get my slacks tailored. Now, these came from Stitch Fix, and I like the color. I like the style uh, because I don't like anything real bunchy in the front because I feel like it makes me look bigger than I am. <laughs> so uh, these are very good. I like the, the front of them and I, you know, they do have pockets, so it's okay. Uh, but these have to be hands down my most favorite pair. These are from Thalia Sodi and these are the black slacks of hers. And um, I don't know, I just like the way the front looks and I like the way they fit and these are my favorite. And I will always wear these when it starts to get cold. <laughs> um, but you will see me most times in a dress because I hate having to get my uh, pants tailored because pants are always so long on me and I hate it. And it's like, it's so hard for me to find pants. So you will see me a lot of times in dresses and skirts, but uh, I always have to have at least um, the standard gray and black. Okay. So always something to, to start out with. That's your starting point. Okay. Um, now I like to have a button down, always have to have a button down. Now this one is just happens to be polka dot. Um, this is uh, fortune and Ivy. This is another, uh, stitch fix, uh, blouse, but, um, this one now, okay. 
<laughs> I will admit this, all right? I am top heavy, okay? So if you are top heavy like me, always make sure that the button in the front is not pulling, okay? If it's pulling, then you know you gotta go up a size in the blouse. Unfortunately, sometimes this means that like the bottom part is gonna be way bigger than you need. Uh, but the good thing about this is um, when you have a pencil skirt or when you're using your slacks, you can just tuck it in. Now, I started watching this show on Facebook Watch called uh, Queen America with Catherine Zeta-Jones. I'm still waiting, Facebook Watch, for the season two, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> but when I first started watching the show, Catherine Zeta-Jones wore a lot of pencil skirts in the show. And I just thought she looked so elegant and beautiful. Uh, and I have never, up until that time, worn pencil skirts. So uh, I went to Bell's the next day and I said, oh my God, I gotta find a pencil skirt and see how it looks on me. This was my very first pencil skirt. And uh, this is like literally my favorite pencil skirt. I It's out of control now. I have like six pencil skirts, but this is by far my most favorite one because it fits like a glove. I love the material. And with blouses like these, all I have to do is just tuck it in and voila. I mean, it just looks so pretty. It looks like a million bucks and I love it. So that's the beauty of these pencil skirts. And because I'm so short, which is what made me kind of skeptical, okay, to get the pencil skirt in the beginning, <laughs> but it does make me look taller, okay? So, and it's, we're going to talk about that with the shoes and everything and, and how to make yourself look taller if you are shorter <laughs> like me, <laughs> um, because I do think it's important. Sometimes, like, we don't know, right? And I didn't know that it was, like, going to make me look taller until I started wearing them. I was like, wow. I look taller, <laughs> but yes. Uh, so I like to pair this up with like um, a blouse like this. And you know, of course these uh, button down blouses can go really good with slacks as well. Now, the next one I wanna talk about is the neckline, the varying neckline. I love jewel tones, okay? Now this is very jewel toned and I love the neckline on this. Now, I like clothes that accentuate my figure, okay? I like to be very classy when I'm wearing my stuff. So this neckline is not so like going to choke me, but it does, uh, it, it is very elegant the way that it looks. Um, so I like this. I like the neckline and pay attention to the necklines because I think necklines give like these blouses a lot of character. So that's why I like to um, get necklines that are different. And so that's something that you can look for, you know, when you are shopping. Um, but yeah, that's the one thing I do recommend is a ruffled neckline. I love a ruffled neckline. <laughs> and the next thing is uh, these other two blouses. Okay, so again, I like the, um, the jewel tones. This is very standard basic. Um, you can pair this with the slacks. You can pair it with the uh, pencil skirt or... You know, you can just, um, when you are pairing it, what I meant to say, is when you are pairing it, you have to have your jacket, okay? Now, the jacket with this looks really good, okay? And then you put it with the slacks, even better, okay? And when you are going for interviews, you do want to get a jacket. Now, this jacket came from um, Stitch Fix, okay? And yes, this jacket was a little pricey. But I think it's okay because I've gotten so much mileage out of it. And if you are gonna, if you know you're gonna get a lot of mileage out of a particular item, like whatever you're wearing, I think it's okay to spend a little bit more. Um, this is Skyzer Blue, and I love it because the I am a polka dot freak, okay? <laughs> um, but I like it because it's uh, the polka dots are sort of like illusional type. And that's why I like it. And it'll go perfectly like with this. Now, <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring out another one, another blouse that is uh, the neckline, okay? Um, part of the reason that I like it only because it is, it does have uh, polka dots. <laughs> but I like the neckline on it. So the neckline is a little drapey. It's very uh, classy. I like it. And again, it goes really good with the jacket okay so you see how these pieces intermingle together like that I love it 
I love it. I love it. Love it. And I could pair it up with the um, with the pencil skirt, or I could put it with the slacks because either way, it'll go with the gray slacks or it'll go with the black slacks. Whatever mood I'm in that day. <laughs> so yes, it's very good to get a uh, jacket that goes with everything. Um, so or at least with a good amount of your wardrobe, so that way you can have variety, but then yet you still look like a million bucks. Okay, so that was that. Now, I have two dresses. We're going to talk about dresses, okay, a lot this month because I love dresses. <laughs> uh, this one, I'm going to talk about this one first, though. The Calvin Klein. Now, it may just be me, but I believe that every woman should at least have at least one Calvin Klein dress in their wardrobe. Because look at this. Look how beautiful. I love this dress. I got this dress when I was in Chicago <laughs> at conference. Um, I got it at Burlington. It was 40 bucks. So um, very beautiful. I mean, just like gorgeous. I love, 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 love this. I mean, it is so elegant, so pretty. I love the color. I love red. Now I'm a sucker for red because red looks really good on my skin tone. And some people may, may wonder, like, how do you know what goes good on your skin tone? There's really no way to know until, like, you start trying clothes on and things like that. Because sometimes people get, like, um, they get very frustrated because, like, they don't know what looks good on them. Or, like, they feel like it doesn't fit right. Which is why it's so important to have your undergarments fit good. So that when you are trying on clothes, they do fit well. And there's also this thing called shapers. Now, some people may not like shapers like Spanx or anything like that or Marilyn Monroe. It is all about giving you that nice silhouette, okay? Everybody uses them. Every woman uses them. Thin women, thicker women, everybody uses them. So there's nothing wrong with using a shaper, okay? Now, this is only going to make the clothes fit so much better. And it's going to make you more confident because it's just like, oh, this looks really good on me. And it's really like making my silhouette look really good. So, again, there's nothing wrong with um, using shapers. Now, <laughs> when some of the ladies were like, Blue, how do, how do you make your clothes look like you always look like they're, they fit so well? And I started telling them, well, I wear shapers. I mean... I mean, I have to because it's like instead of wearing a slip, you can wear a shaper, you know. And so to me, it's just like it makes the clothes fit well. You know, nothing is showing. OK, there's no unexpected things showing like panty lines or bra lines or anything like that. There's none of that showing. OK, because that's what you want to avoid. You want everything. You want the outfit to stand out, not what you got underneath it. <laughs> OK, so that's just something to keep in mind now. Moving on. <laughs> and we are going to talk about that, okay? Because uh, I think it is important. It is important to talk about, like, undergarments and, and how important it is that they are worn properly so that the clothes look really good, okay? Now, this other dress that I like is um, another Stitch Fix. It is Leota. Now, the um, this little cover here is from Express. But the dress is from Le uh, it's Leota. It's from Stitch Fix. I love the pattern. Now... The thing with Stitch Fix is sometimes they go a little bit out of control with the patterns and it's just like, okay, what are we trying to do here, people? <laughs> but uh, this particular one I did like. Um, I love the black and white. It's very classy and classic. Uh, anything that is classy and classic, I always want to go for because it's... You know, it's going to make you look good and it's going to make you look good. It's going to make you feel good. Okay. Um, now, like I said... Sometimes those patterns with Stitch Fix is just like, mm, and I had to send a couple of them back because it was just like, I, kind of, I, I, I don't know what you're trying to do. <laughs> but uh, this one I did like. Um, they have quite a few things that I did like from Stitch Fix. So uh, it's not always, you know, just bad patterns sometimes. But uh, sometimes, most of the time, it's pretty good, though. Uh, but I will say that. But yes, that is just something that I like. Um, I love, 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 love. The flare, okay. I love skirts that that do this, um, the, or the the dresses that do this that flare at the bottom, um, because I think it looks very whimsical and flirty, and I love it. And it just, I don't know, it just this makes me so happy. <laughs> 
But yes, uh, that is pretty much all I have for right now for my first Vlogmas. So hopefully I did it really well. <laughs> uh, and if you haven't liked this video already, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be talking about fashion all this month. Different patterns and, and different colors and, and what looks good together. And shoes. Shoes make me so happy. Oh my gosh, I love shoes. I'm talking about good. Kitten heels and flats and cowboy boots because yes, I do wear cowboy boots. <laughs> I am a Texan through and through, okay? Uh, I love to wear dressy cowboy boots, but that's just me. <laughs> but we'll get into that on another episode. So uh, I will go ahead and close this out because I know that Vlogmas is supposed to be like short videos, but this is fashion. We're talking about people, okay? I go crazy. What, what can I say? <laughs> Anyway, I will see y'all for tomorrow's episode, um, but if you are a medical coder, a medical coding student, somebody curious about the fascinating world of medical coding, a provider or a nurse, or somebody curious about fashion and you want to hear from me, um, I also have my Instagram at medical coding with blue, all one word. Uh, I hope you'll like and subscribe and follow me on my journey with fashion and with medical coding. All right, I will see y'all on the next video. Bye!